committee members. I am Anthony Millet, Chairman of the 65th Infantry Regiment Honor Task Force. I am compelled to address this August body on behalf of the veterans from the 65th Infantry Regiment of Puerto Rico, who served under the American flag of the United States of America when it had but 45 stars on it, as opposed to the 50 stars that waved boldly outside this headquarters. My great-grandfather, Leoncio Beauchamp, was a founding member of this proud regiment. He served with honor and distinction during the First World War. He and the 65th Infantry were born under the flag of Spain, but they swore allegiance to the American flag and marched off to fight in the war to end all wars. They fought to save the world from tyranny and oppression. He was buried with full military honors in his hometown of Calle. But throughout his nearly a century of a lifetime, he and his children were precluded from the same rights guaranteed to every American citizen he and his compadres fought to defend simply because he was a Puerto Rican who lived on the island of Puerto Rico. The Jones Act of 1914 granted full American citizenship to every Puerto Rican on the island and their progeny under the authority of the United States Constitution. It afforded them equal protection under the law and bestowed upon them the profound declaration of individual sovereignty over their own lives guaranteed by the Bill of Rights. The United States of America is a signatory to the United Nations Charter. That charter is dedicated to protecting the sovereignty of nations. The UN Charter cannot respect the sovereignty of nations while simultaneously ignoring the sovereignty of free people. The United States of America cannot honor its signature to the United Nations Charter, swearing to uphold international law and treaties respecting the sovereignty of nations, while it denies sovereignty to one segment of their own citizenry, justified by an arcane piece of extraneous legislation, which is in direct violation of the United States Constitution. No American citizen can be denied the right to vote in national elections based on race, color, creed, or national origins. Every Puerto Rican is a native-born American citizen under the protection of the United States Constitution without exception or exemption. The Spanish-American War's intended outcome was to free this hemisphere from colonial rulers. But the unintended consequences was the United States became that which it abhorred, a possessor of colonial territories. The United States efforts are to be commended and admired in their attempts to balance autonomy, cultural preservation, and consensus among the residents of Puerto Rico over the course of 111 years. We are proud to be a free people, a prosperous people, and a compassionate people. We are proud to be Puerto Ricans. We are equally proud to be citizens of the freest nation in the history of human civilization. As such, we call upon this body to amplify the voice of the freedom-loving American citizens residing on the island of Puerto Rico, to remind all the signatories to the United Nations Charter that the sovereign rights of four million Americans to vote in national elections are obstructed by a piece of legislation that can be easily amended by the U.S. Congress as they did for the District of Columbia in 1961. I invoke the name of all the Puerto Rican soldiers who fought, bled, and died <coughs> under the American flag, who swore to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States from all enemies, foreign and domestic that the currency by which they paid the price of freedom be honored. We here and now declare to all within the sound of my voice all comprehend these words. It is a national disgrace 
if those soldiers who serve under the American flag and buried on the American flag will continue to be denied equal medical attention for wounds sustained in defense of the American flag. Esteemed ambassadors, I call upon you here and now, resolve that you will carry this petition to the General Assembly and remind all the signatories of the UN Charter there are four million Americans who are obstructed from voting in national elections contrary to the spirit and letter of the U.S. Constitution. Mr. Chairman, make no mistake, we are not begging for a 51st star on the U.S. flag. <coughs> what we are saying is the price for placing that flag on the U.S. star has been paid in full with the currency of blood. Our account is satisfied. What we are owed is the decency of demonstrating the resolve to remove the obstruction that denies four million Americans the full rights and privileges earned by the blood of our soldiers and guaranteed by the Bill of Rights. <coughs> remove the provisions that deny national elections from the people of Puerto Rico and then will an equitable, peaceful, political remedy be achieved by the courage of the ballot box and not by the cowardice of the terrorist bomb. Thank you. God bless the Puerto Rican soldiers and veterans of the United States of America. Thank you. And before we thank you, Mr. Mayor, for the information the committee. And I'd now like to invite Mr. Menegelo for this program.